Alright, by applying vacuum to your crankcase, uh, by using an electric pump like this, this would be uh, the intake here and the exhaust. So we would mount that like, uh, right over there with the bracket. And uh, you would just do the oil cap since the valve covers are both sealed. See that one? See, there's no cap. There's just one oil fill cap. So you just get an extra cap and uh, drill a hole, and then you put in a small quarter inch fitting with an eighth inch line fitting on it. And I just have a little elbow here and a little adapter run to this nylon line, and that runs inside to a vacuum gauge, pressure gauge. So we'll use that vacuum later for reference to see how much we're pulling. Uh, but we want to see how much pressure is in the crankcase right now. And the whole idea about running vacuum is that pressure builds up when you get full throttle. You get blow by from the rings. And you'll see that when you take your cap off, you see a little bit of steam come out. It's actually smoke from the uh, blow by gases in the combustion chamber. So what you want to do is you apply vacuum to your crankcase. And that will make the piston rings spread out and you get a better seal. And it's good for anywhere from 20 to 30 horsepower. Now a small electric vacuum pump like this is ready, readily available at most of the salvage yards. Uh, like a belt driven pump in this application would be too much to fabricate a bracket. But the thing is, is you don't want to use too much vacuum because you'll start pulling away oil from parts like piston uh, pin squirters and uh, bearings. If you go any more than 15 HG or 15 inches of vacuum, which would be here on this side. You never want to go to 15. I would stay around 10 to 12. And that will be a safe zone where you're not pulling oil away from your parts. But this is good for anywhere from 20 to 30 horsepower, even on a stock engine. Normally, it's used on supercharged and turbocharged engines with boost. Uh, so they have a lot of boost pressure in the combustion chamber. And you get some blow by from that. So the idea is to run a vacuum pump to make the uh, rings spread out to get to keep the compression level up. So we're going to see how this test ends out in the result.